market outlook. So, I mean, we're, we're experiencing a very volatile mar market. Um, we had a pretty harsh fall from highs last week, and we got a huge bounce back today. We were looking for that snapback right at this first support level in the S&P. The Q's, NASDAQ, um, they had a huge snapback as well today. And, you know, um, this is all, all has to do with interest rates and the Fed is easing their quantitative easing policies. So if you look up the, the TNX, which is the 10 year treasury, that thing has been ripping. And as that rips, the NASDAQ sells. So then today we look at the move in the TNX and the move is extended, right? So it looks like it has to pull back to this, let's say 165 area. And that's going to perfectly coincide with this bounce in the market. So uh, I don't think, you know, we're off to new highs, but I do think we bounce from here up to, I'm looking at the Qs, maybe up to this 400 area, maybe 395. There's a lot of overhead resistance. Similar with the SPY, the S&P, um, we've got that big bounce today, I think continues into tomorrow, but you know, I'm not looking at this as a blast off to new highs. I think there's a ton of overhead resistance. There's a lot of weakness in the market still. Um, so yeah, I mean, uh, I'm taking very short term trades. You know, I'm taking very uh, kind of reversion -y trades where it's like if something's oversold, um, that's more of something I'm looking to buy and something overbought, that's something I'm looking to short. You know, versus, you know, this chart looks so pretty, I want to buy it. You know, I, I just don't see those trades working as much, but we'll, talk, we'll get into that stuff later. Um, what are your thoughts over there? Yeah, so it's funny you mentioned 10 year. Uh, I recently refied like uh, about a little less than a month ago and a lot of you know the mortgage rates go off the 10 year so we were me and the mortgage lender were basically like i was basically trading off the 10 year i'm like all right 10 years out because yeah. this is at 1.7 like let's wait here it pulled back in like i locked in it when the 10 year was like at 1.4 and then now looking at it as it broke out the lady who did my brief i was like oh my god the 10 year is breaking out i'm like i'm glad that we like locked yeah bitch in. i trade <laughs> yeah uh, she's like what do you think is gonna happen i'm like short term maybe it pulled back but longer term like we're probably gonna see the 10 year continue this upward you know move higher over the next year given um right. been trading but yeah i mean i think you nailed it really well this morning on the pre-mark call that of course i say recorded and then somehow it didn't save my computer but you were no. <laughs> it was like <laughs> Source. But anyways, um, I think you, you mentioned it perfectly this morning where you were looking for that pull in like 455 and this buy came to like 456 and that was kind of that that low and, and it held there and reversed higher. But I'm in a very similar camp as you where I think we're still in this kind of range around market. You know, for the SPY, it's, you know, 480 is pretty much resistance for now. This 450, 455 area is support. So we're in this, you know, 4%-ish range. But these are the days where we want to be looking to be buying down here and on the way up, even into continuation tomorrow, and then looking to take profits into the resistance area, into that 475 and 480. Unfortunately, we're in this tighter range, so it's like you have to be very nimble. And if you missed that support area that day, it's like you're kind of flat footed for the next week because you would just get too close up into that resistance area. Um, but it was interesting to see again, energy was probably the only sector to kind of break out higher and, and so far hold it, um, while a lot of the other ones are still kind of closer to support um you know like vht is a really good example you know perfectly retested its prior all-time high a few weeks ago and now it's pulled back into that range that it's been in and now it's for now it's like the 200 days acting as support while this 265 kind of 270 area has been resistant but these are when we want to look for these buys to be buying down here where you can buy like 255 versus 250 and risk you know one or two percent would be involved for that, you know, next five percent like higher versus trying to, you know, buy the you mentioned buying the perfect resistance breakout, which in this market hasn't really been uh, the best route to go with. No, completely, completely. And, and and what what's really working in this market is buying when things look ugly, and and then if you're looking short, shorting when they look prettiest. Mm -hmm. um, which is just it's 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 really difficult to kind of teach new guys that because they're they're so focused on the technicals and. You know, but this setup isn't that. And it's just like uh, these kind of markets where they're very volatile, you know, we get these whipsaw moves back and forth. So, you know, you have to, you have to try to make your money in between the 20s, if you say, as they say, um, that's like a football reference, in between the 20 yard lines. Uh, not trying to score for the home runs, just trying to take advantage of the volatility. And, you know, so I, I bought that Tesla today on the dip and now I have great stock going into tomorrow, but I was typing up a ton of names and we're just so far off those lows so quickly now mm -hmm. that tomorrow's very difficult to look for longs. And, you know, I wouldn't want to short tomorrow after the reversal we've seen. So now we're in a really tricky spot in the market. 
Um, if, if you didn't really buy anything off these lows today, there's obviously opportunity. There's always opportunity in the market, but uh, I just think it's, it's it, we're walking into a tricky setup tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I definitely agree. I mean, even like just scanning names, even like this morning when I was doing it, um, of course the one blue sky breakout that I keep an eye on, of course, goes 8% today, and I'm obviously not in it. But Which one? Uh, THRM. Yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah. Like, Damn! Yes. Someone like mentioned it in the chat this morning, so I, was, I talked about it in the pre-market call, and then someone brought it up, and I just didn't have like an alert set. It was at like 90.05, and I'm like, I'm not buying this here at 90.05. Right. And then, yeah, of course it goes, but. 93. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not fun.